Ladies, welcome back to my channel. My name's Penny, and if you're new, it's great to meet you. So today I'm bringing you a collaboration. I'm trying to not show my address. Big bag of stairs from a company called Holy or Holy. I'm not quite sure how you say it. Um, I just I have a few notes that I'm reading from because I can't remember what I wanted to say. So basically, Holy or Holy are affordable fashion shoes accessories and daily necessities at wholesale prices without the risk um, also it's an international e-commerce platform selling to customers from all over the world they're based in singapore and they own factories everywhere so i was approached by a lovely lady who offered to send me out um, a load of stuff and I'm going to film it under the tagline of top brands at affordable prices. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get on with it. I uh, hope you like what I'm about to show you. When it comes to editing, I'm going to put the real brands and how much they are compared to what I've got and how much these were. Um, and I will be telling you the prices as we go along as to the things that I've bought. Um, and there's an app on the App Store, should you wish to take a look yourself, or just type in Holy and have a little look and see what you think. Um, no obligation, guys, as always. I'm not um, affiliated or anything. I don't want you to go off and spend your hard-earned cash. I just wanted to show you what you could get if you chose to. So... The first thing I've got, the first thing I've got is a pair of Dr. Martins. Obviously, they're a copy. They are the Dr. Martin Zebralus sandal. They're in a US 7. They've got a US 7, US 8 or US 38, but they're actually in a 6 UK. Got these in the white. They look like the Blair sandal. They're really heavy. And if I didn't know better, I'd swear these were the real thing. You've got airway on the label and bouncing soles there. They are stamped dr martin's inside and also let me just open this for you in there and they've also got the thing on the bottom which indicates they're dr martin's I believe because they're from Singapore, they're the Asian version. So very, very good copies, but not the real thing. But you would never know. These are leather. Very heavy. And very, very good quality. Now, the real DMs in this style are £99. These ones were... 37.99 so a huge saving and you wouldn't know the difference and neither would anybody who looked down and saw your feet so a massive saving on those they are very comfortable obviously they've got the bouncy soles so when you walk on them if you see they go down they're very very supportive very very um Good. If you've got foot problems, I've got plantar fasciitis, which is a problem with the stripper muscle that run, or tendon or whatever it is that runs along the length of your foot and it causes heel pain. So this type of shoe is ideal for that. Um, yeah, and also very fashionable and very in at the minute. So that was the first pair. I say pair, the first thing. Because I've said pair, you know that there's another pair. This pair, I actually wanted them to be the same because I wanted to show you that you could get them in both colours. But they're not truly the same. These feel, they don't come in a box for a start. 
they feel a lot lighter, a lot flimsier. They don't have the support in them. They are clearly plasticky. Um, they've got bouncing soles written on there, but it doesn't say DMs. Don't say DMs on the foot and they didn't say DMs there. These, when I tried them on, are a lot softer, a lot springier. And when I put my foot in them, I found I was sliding off. There just wasn't the support. Can you see? The straps just slide off. There just wasn't the support in them. So I'm not as happy with this pair as I am with the white pair. Um, you know, guys, I'm always very, very honest. I'm boiling hot. That's why I'm fiddling with my hair. Um, I'm very, very honest with... Um, I'm sorry, guys. Two seconds. I'm back. Sorry about that. I needed the fan on. I'm baking. Yeah, I'm very honest with what I review. Um, they look good. They look the same. But there's a huge difference. You can see these are staying up, they're leather, they're supportive, whereas these are the plastic, they don't stay up, they squish down flat, they're not as heavy. So yeah, you can see just by looking at them. Very, oh, <laughs> very, very, very happy with those. Not so happy with those. So that was number two. Now they would have been, believe it or not, the black, were more expensive at $38.99. Don't know why, I really don't know why, because the white are a very, very good copy at $37.99. So, on to something I really do love. Absolutely in love with this. As I said, I will be putting all the reels and not reels on the screen when I come to do it but this is a little bag it comes in a little dust bag now on the website it was described as jelly which I took to be um pleather you know but it's not it's a velvet it doesn't matter it's still very nice it has a cover over the front and it's a machino bag i'm gonna take the plastic off there we go so there it is you can see that it's a velvety material um it's lovely it's really nice made very very well solid bottom be like me <laughs> absolutely gorgeous bag the real version of this would be £742. This one was £22.99. Just going to open it and show you. So an amazing, amazing um, saving, if you don't mind it being not real. You would never know the difference. So it's got a twist. Twist opening. And if you can hear, very solid. Very well made. Pops open like that through the O. And inside, take the stuffing out, you've got this lovely, just gonna close it, this lovely handle that you could wear just as a shoulder bag or if you pull it goes inside and I'll show you now in a minute you can wear it as a cross body bag I will show you how that works there are two sections there where they go to so if you watch now I can see the strap where's it gone See, I can feed the strap down inside and you can alter it or leave it long or yeah thought that was a brilliant idea 
Um, it's really solid, as I said. It's got an inner pocket inside. Big enough for a credit card or a lipstick or anything small that you want hidden away. Key. Plenty big enough to hold quite a lot of stuff. This is my old phone. Um, it's a really big phone. So just show you. It'll hold that. Um, it'll hold, well, a lot of stuff really for a night out. So yeah, very, very, very pleased with that. As I said, it looks the business. So well made. The gold is so shiny. I just love it. Really, really well made. So yeah, very, very, very happy with that. Oh guys, it's warm, isn't it? <laughs> Even though the temperature's dropped and we are kind of having a little bit of rain. It's very, very drizzly. It's still very, very hot. Right, what was next? The next thing I picked was a, it's all wrapped up very well, it's a copy of the Urban Decay Naked 3. It isn't Urban Decay, it's Yajina, I don't know, I mean that's, it could be Chinese, it could be Asian, it could be or oh, it could be any language, I'm not sure. I mean, I know that they are. I've still got the t-shirt label. <laughs> oh dear. Um, as I said, they're based in Singapore, but they've got factories all over the world. So that could be from anywhere, but Naked 3 copy. The actual Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay is 46 pound. This palette was $9.99. I'm going to open it and show you. Very, very similar. I'm going to cover over the mirror, but it does have a mirror. Beautiful colours. I'm going to take the cellophane off. It comes with the brush, as would the Urban Decay one. And I'm just going to, I'm going to cover the mirror so that I can come in close. There are the colours. And I'm going to put a screenshot of the real palette in the, it, up on screen when I come to edit. And you will see how very close the colours are. I am going to swatch a couple for you now. So, swatch that dark purple one there, and there it is. I will swatch a lighter one. Right, that pink one there, they're very, very pigmented. Um, I'm needing a tissue. Got it all over my fingers. Then I will swatch, um, let me see. See, maybe that silver grey one there. So yeah, loving it. Love the colour payoff. Really, really pigmented. They feel buttery soft. They really do feel nice. And um, yeah, who would know the difference? unless they see that bit there. <laughs> but who's gonna look that closely at your makeup bag, guys? So yeah, really happy with that. And, oh, there's a tissue. I wanted to wipe them off. <laughs> good grief. So that's with a good scrub and I can still see the color on there. 
so yeah very very pigmented fantastic color payoff pleased with that then the last thing i picked oh no i got two things the last thing i picked were a pair of sunglasses now they aren't a copy of anything i just picked them because i like them but then I realised they are very similar to the Mark, da Mark Jacobs Daisy ones. So they come in a zipper on case. They're just holy brand. They're not a, a brand or anything, but very, very similar. Now you would pay a hundred pound for a pair of Mark Jacobs Daisy. These were 4 .99, And I'm gonna show you why I think they look like them. See the flowers on the side there? Obviously both sides. And I'm gonna pop them on. How nice are they? I really like them. So I'm calling them a Mac Jacobs dupe. They're not at all, but they could pass as. They look very similar to me. So yeah, they're plastic frames beautiful lenses they've kind of got a blue tint to them from inside i don't know if you can see can you pick up that blue um beautiful they're like a smoky lens and uh, then you've got the metal bit there with the flowers on so yeah i really like these and for 4.99 i thought that was amazing I'm just going to pop them back in the box. I love the little case. It's always nice to have a little case to keep them um, safe because the amount that I've broken by sitting on them or hubby have sat on them and broken them, it's been untrue. Especially when you really like a pair, you get to love a pair and then that happens. It is heartbreaking, isn't it? And then trying to find another pair that you like as much it just never happens. So yeah, really happy to have that case. Um, then the last thing was an added extra. And I wasn't expecting this. This was a freebie, I believe. Well, it was because it wasn't part of... It was all free because I was gifted. Um, but I didn't choose this. And I like it. It's a lovely little cream handbag. It's um, like a crocodile effect. It's lovely. It's coming up like a pinky on screen. It's definitely cream. Lovely strap. Now that's not metal, that's plastic. But it's really nice. And a gold zip. And then inside, more than enough room for a phone, a purse if you carry one, your credit card. I don't know, hairbrush, a few bits of makeup, you could get no end of stuff in there. Really, really nice bag. I'm just going to do it back up again. And it's finished off well. It zips all the way to the end. And then on that end, then you've got a little gold tab, which I always tuck down inside the bag. So there's nobody getting into that without you knowing about it. I always worry, especially handbags that haven't got um, zips or anything. When you've got them on your shoulder or on your arm and I'm constantly checking that everything's still there. But yeah, there's no getting into that. It fits lovely under your arm or just carry it on your hands or in your hands. It's a lovely little bag. So uh, thank you for that because that was an added extra that I was not expecting as well on the bottom. You see it's nice and uh, nice and wide so yeah you get loads in there so i hope you liked what i've shown you i only went for the two different shoes to show you that you could get them in black or white but actually i mean it should highlight the fact that be very very careful um and check the descriptions because obviously i didn't because the black pair were very very flimsy as i said compared to the white and if I were purchasing these items, I'd have been disappointed in these, but over the moon in the white ones. Uh, with the white ones, I should say.
but all in all, in general, I'm extremely happy with all of it. I'm really, really um, thankful that I was gifted these and I haven't had to pay with them. I can't speak. I haven't had to pay them. I still can't speak. <laughs> Blame the vibro. I haven't had to pay for them myself. So, yeah. Yeah, really happy. So, thank you, Holy. I really appreciate it. So, um, they are on Insta. They are on Facebook. Just uh, type in Holy and it'll come up. It's H O H W H O L double E. Could be Holy or it could be Holy. Um, when you go on their website, if you go on their website, what I like about it is they've got um, a picture of the item and you can tap it and it'll give you a full 360 degree view of the item. Now, clearly I didn't do that because otherwise I wouldn't have uh, made the mistake with the black shoes. <laughs> but I'm sure I did and I'm sure I requested both the same maybe they were out of stock and they've sent me these as a substitute i don't know but yeah a 360 degree view of your item that is amazing no other shop will do that and um, not that i've come across anyway um so there's that that was good about it um as i said they do fashion shoes accessories and they also do daily necessities household stuff so yeah well worth having a look for that um, I don't have a discount code for you. As I said, it was just a gifted video. Um, it wasn't a, um, a big collaboration or anything. Uh, and I'm not affiliated with them. I just wanted to come on and show you that I was given these things and see what you think of them. And uh, yeah, that's it really. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I have added a button to my channel art. Um, it's called Buy Me A Coffee. Some of you might think that's extremely cheeky, but <laughs> I'll be blatantly honest with you guys. When I started my YouTube channel, I didn't expect to get monetized. I did get monetized, but I am not consistently earning. I've only had one payout. You have to earn, um, I think, $60 to be able to be paid out and I'm not getting anywhere near that per month I'm just not getting the views uh, we are on a very very low income and um, disability benefit and stuff so I thought well I have to bring in money somewhere because I want my channel to grow I want to be able to buy equipment to um, make these films better for you so I signed up for buy me a coffee and basically if you wanted to you could click on the little button buy me a coffee and it'll all add up and eventually I'll be able to buy a new camera because I film on my phone and I think a new camera would help me create a better quality of video so that's purely up to you guys I'm not asking you to do that it's just there should you wish to. I know a lot of the bigger YouTubers do it, particularly the ones in America. I don't think it's that common over here. But yeah, I just thought I'd give it a go as another way to try and generate some income. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all dearly. Look after yourselves, stay safe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.